Hello everyone! Today we will prepare a simple snack that can replace dinner or lunch. To be honest, I saw this recipe on Instagram and I wanted to try it. I really love sushi and rolls, so this recipe caught my attention. In fact, this dish is prepared very simply and quickly. The ingredients can be changed to suit your preference. So, what we need is rice paper nori sheets, boiled rice. For the filling, I took fresh salmon, cucumber, and tofu. You will also need rice vinegar, sesame sauce, and soy sauce. We start by preparing all the ingredients. First, I cut cucumber into long slices. Cucumber can be substituted for avocado, but I like the combination of salmon and cucumber. Next, take the salmon, cut off the fatty part from it and also cut into long slices, but thinner. Salmon can be replaced with canned or fresh tuna, or you can use topical caviar, or you can do without fish product altogether and use only vegetables and cheese. To give the salmon a taste, I pour it with sesame sauce and mix it. Tofu cheese is cut into long slices, as I show in the video, and fried in coconut oil with soy sauce, added to give it flavor. To be honest, I don't really like tofu, but I decided to try it here. We take 2 tablespoons of rice vinegar and add a little sugar there. Mix and season the rice. If you have ever made sushi or rolls, then you know that vinegar is always added to rice. But the main thing is not to overdo it. Now we start twisting our rolls. Deep rice pepper for 5 seconds in warm water and put on a plate. It's better to use ceramic dishes so the rice leaf doesn't stick to it. First lay out nori sheet, put some rice on it and distribute it. Spread the tofu, cucumber and salmon. It will be better if you put another nori sheet on top. We start wrapping the edges of the rice pepper, as I show in the video. And then just twist. Actually, I really like this recipe, but I would change some of ingredients. For example, I would substitute cream cheese for tofu. That's about all I would change. We dip the resulting rolls in sesame seeds and fry in a pan until golden brown. As a result, such nice rolls are obtained. One piece is enough to eat. This dish can be served with soy or sesame sauce. In combination with them, the rolls are even more delicious. I prefer the version with sesame sauce. Thank you for watching this video. I will be very grateful if you like this video and subscribe to me. There are a lot of cool and easy recipes on my channel. I wish you a wonderful evening and delicious dinner, eat only what brings you pleasure and enjoyment.